morning YouTubers. I'm down the motorhome in the lockup or the storage facility and yet again I'm going to be working on the solar panel con charge controller. Now I'm going to go through the story first of all and uh, let's start with the original. This is the original solar charge controller. It's been fitted, it's a pulse width modulated PWM controller. Uh, the reason why I went for this is size, cost, physical size as in fitting it in the van, plus the fact I've only got small solar panels. Uh, it ran for two years, just over two years without any problems whatsoever. And one day I come down to the van, the display was reading 15 and a half volts and the actual battery was 11 volts, just over 11. So I thought it's not because this is reading 15 volts it was assuming the battery was charged and it wasn't putting anything into the battery although everything connected and was fine I ordered a new controller I fitted and it sort of lasted two or three days and then it's gone wrong the new controller this one's a 10 amp and I fitted a 30 amp one in. And the problem is with that, I don't know if you could see that there's a fault with the last digit. You can see it's flashing. So it's 13 point C. And sometimes that right hand digit, the C thing that's flashing, um, well, Sometimes it doesn't work at all, so it's a fault with the display. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change it for the newest one I've got. This one here. Torch off, this one here. This is also 30 amp. Completely different design inside. So I'm going to fit that now, but I've got to follow the procedure. You've got to disconnect the solar panels first and then connect, disconnect the 12 volt. So hopefully this one will work. Now I've disconnected the solar panels and the load and it's reading at 13 volts the battery. Uh, the problem is the leisure battery is under the driver's seat and it's an absolute nightmare to get to um, but I have put a fuse in line so I can just take the fuse out and that will disconnect the 12 volt to the solar charge controller. Now the other thing is, which I forgot to mention, the replacement charge controller which went faulty, I contacted them and said could you send me a new one? They're out of stock. So they gave me a refund, which is great. This, this is one with the faulty display. And I had to order this from a different company. Now, this 30 amp has got a finned back to get rid of any heat dissipation. And this 30 amp is just a straight back. So, so although they look similar, they are different and the circuit board in this one is totally different to these. So they're the ones that have got the fault so I've got to do something with those. So now I've got to install this one. But I have checked it at home on a battery and a small solar panel. So hopefully this one will work properly. Now we can see the new controller's in. Reading 13.8 volts at the moment, which is good, that means the battery is pretty charged. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch the diesel heater on and see if the voltage drops, which it should do. Okay, it's reading 13.8. Just switch the diesel heater on. Uh, 
13.5 with the diesel heater running it's reading 13 volts just checking I haven't disturbed anything while I'm up here I do with a bit of a clean this fan switch me light off okay I'm back home I'm doing a post-mortem on the slow in the controllers <coughs> excuse me the original one just to recap the original one that was in the van that lasted two years for some reason it was reading the wrong voltage which meant the display was reading 15 volts <coughs> so it wouldn't put a charge into the battery the replacement one which went faulty after a couple of days the display failed on the least significant digit so rather than it read 13.8 you read 13 point whatever nothing so I brought them back took them apart and although they've got different circuitry from side by side oops, you can see there's different capacitors that side's pretty much the same this side's definitely different so what I've done I took the faulty display out of this one and swapped it with that one and it works so although they're different I was able to make one good one and see this side to this side is different so this 30 amp one is using the display from the 10 amp and you can see they plug in so I'm just going to assemble this one back together and I shall keep that one as a spare and even the back is different on this one it's a proper heat sink and on this one it's just a plain piece of metal but it's all screwed together so it's easy to take it apart so I'll reassemble this one it'll go on the battery for testing and um, that'll be the good one which is a 30 amp one last part of this video is just to confirm that I was able to take the faulty display out of this one and put into this one so it's reading 12L which meant I've ended up with a good solar charge controller by swapping the display from a bad one into this so I've got two good controllers working this one is probably usable if you don't want to look at the voltage or set anything so if you use default values in it it will work so I think that's a thumbs up today a bit confusing if you're watching this video but um, it just shows that you know these are low cost um, charge controllers and um, but you can do things with them to sort them out and this one's just running on these batteries at the moment and this one's running on the car battery so that and the solar panels connected which is in the window which is um, there's no light on it at the moment so a thumbs up from me a bit confusing but um, quite pleased with the outcome